YouTubers, welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, looking at yet another of the <clears throat> no some beers given to me from Bot in Norway. Now, this one is their IPA called Birdie Num Num. <laughs> it's kind of a funny name, it's got a parrot there on the label. 4.7%, so I guess session IPA, something like that, maybe. But yeah, it says basically on the back just that. The IPA was brewed for shipping to India and everything, and it says the parrot on the front is called Pretty Polly, which is made by the art an artist called Tor Dale. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because I'm guessing he's Norwegian, but uh, it's a tribute to Hundi V V Bakshi, which was a um, an Indian actor. Uh, so yeah, let's get this one cracked open and see how it is. Oop, oop. So I'm using my stone ruination glass, probably not the best glass for it, but I just felt like using this shaker glass because I haven't used it in so long. So pour it in here and not to the top, like that. Good. So we got it poured here. And that looks nice. It's, it's actually not as orange as I thought. It's like a nice kind of hazy yellow color, a nice kind of one finger white head on there. Stick with the aroma. Mm, yeah. Lots of sweet citrus fruits. It has a generic kind of pellety hop aroma. It actually smells almost as if, like when some of the first homebrew Jacques and I did with uh, whole leaf hops, uh, dried whole leaf hops. It almost has that feeling when you, you pull it out of the fermenter and it, you get that kind of pale, uh, uh, dried hop leaf kind of aroma just before you know you put it in the the bottles and all. Some sweetness to it, a little bit of a sweet maltiness to it. Generic kind of citric notes. Yeah, let's give it a taste guys. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty refreshing. Um, quite nice. I think there might be some mosaic in here. It reminds me of mosaic for some reason. But it's got some nice flavors. Doesn't have that pellety, leafy uh, flavor up front, and it actually feels maybe a little more like a pale ale because it's not super bitter. It's not intense on the flavors after you sip it a little, but there's definitely those citric, sweet, juicy fruits, slight, just slight tropical notes, and a little bit of sweet maltiness in there as well. It has an almost soapy. Poppy bitterness. You sometimes get that in IPAs, I feel like. Yeah, that grapefruit and pine is definitely lingering in the aftertaste. Super sessionable, though. You can slug down a lot of this. Especially because the bitterness keeps you going in for more. It's actually pretty good. Um, I still prefer their black IPA. I still think that was the best one, but this is still quite nice. And it tastes pretty darn fresh, too. Quite nice uh, IPA, pale ale kind of thing. But the only beef I have with it is that the flavor seems to fade fairly quickly, and you just have... Like aftertaste, you get some of the piney, grapefruity flavors, but then you're left with kind of just, you know, generic hop flavor. But still, it's quite nice. Not as good as the uh, Black Eyed Peas, I said. So, rating wise on this one, I want to go 79. It's close. It just needs to, uh, to be in the 80s. It just needs more juicy hop flavors. Guys, if you've had the chance to try the Noisome Birdie Num Num, <laughs> such a weird name, <laughs> definitely let me know what you think of it. Uh, as always, guys, want to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I want to say cheers. And I'll see you guys in the video.